to a, a former colleague of hers, um, Mr. Bantu Holomisa. Mr. Holomisa, thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, speak to me briefly about the Sengwem Kize that you came to know. Firstly, my condolences to her family and uh, organization, the ANC. The first time I met her was when I appeared in front of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. She was one of the commissioners at the time. And indeed, one of the commissioners who was upset when the ANC uh, disciplined me for having appeared in front of the Truth and Reconciliation and having taken an oath to dispense whatever evidence I had regarding the then Transkei government corrupt activities. A scholar of note, very passionate about her work, may her soul rest in peace. That's, that's a word that several people we've spoken to this morning have used to describe her, that she was extremely passionate. What legacy do you think she'll leave behind? Well, the legacy I think she will leave behind is, uh, one, she was a measured person. Uh, obviously, the, the, the intelligentsia of the ANC and the country has has been done a, a big blow. Uh, the discipline which she displayed all along her career, including serving in different state departments, a very measured individual. I, I can carry on and on and on, but the key, she was a disciplined person. Well, Mr. Holomisa, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us and our condolences to you and her friends and family. UDM leader Bantu Holomisa sending his condolences to the family of uh, Deputy Minister Sengumi Kize, who passed away at the age of 69. Let's go.